Look in your home. Look in your office. Look in your home office. Everywhere you turn, there's so much smart. At Capella University, we think education should be smart, too. Our game-changing FlexPath format puts you in control of your master's degree, so you can learn how, when, and where you want. Smart, huh? Yeah, we think so, too. So if you want to take the next step in your career, make Capella your first step. Visit capella.edu to learn more. Capella University. Don't just learn, learn smarter. Before you drive the all-new Nissan Rogue, you got to ask yourself, how rogue are you going to go? We talking be one with nature in the desert rogue? Go snowshoeing in Alaska rogue? Or take the long way home just because kind of rogue? Just a question, but with five available drive modes, you're sure to find the answer. Go rogue in the all-new, fiercely reimagined 2021 Nissan Rogue. Now with the most standard safety features in its class. See owner's manual for important safety information. Auto Pacific segmentation. 2021 Nissan Rogue versus latest in market competitors. Base models compared. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. It's the Weedsman Podcast Nugget. Zippity what? Ready to drop the bass? Let's drop the bass. whoop de doo What does it all mean? All the random stuff that didn't fit in Friday's show you'll find here. Oh. Okay. Hey, man. You got a joint? Put a little bit of weed for a in your boy. What'd that mean? Please give me, just give me my weed, all right? Do you switch your mouse functions being left-handed? Surprisingly, no. Yeah, you just gotten used to what yeah. the right and left clicks do, and yeah. But what's funny is because on a on a trackpad, I'm right-handed. Wait, you use your you use your right hand on a trackpad? Yeah, but you use a mouse with your left. Yeah, I prefer to use a mouse with my. Well, I guess maybe just because on this side, because it's on my left side. But now that I think about it, I I'm really ambidextrous with a mouse. I can use it on yeah. either side. Now that I really think about it, because I've been in situations where because on my parents' old desktop. It was on the right side. I was used to that. Right. So yeah, and I've adapted to do a lot Don't of right. Think? I've adapted to do a lot of shit. I'm guessing though that most males are ambidextrous on the computer now, given that sometimes your dominant hand is busy. <laughs> <laughs> it's <You> true. <laughs> I think most guys are pretty used to operating a mouse or trackpad or what. Either have you. hand. Right. Maybe there's the occasional guy who just can't. Can't do it with his left hand, so he gets like one of those, uh, I don't know, what do they have, the special glasses that track your eye movement? What? <laughs> you know, like if you're paralyzed. Oh, like some Stephen Hawking Yeah, shit. like Stephen Hawking. He would have, uh, wasn't it his, by his eye movements, that's how he would type? My daughter likes watching this show, some sitcom about a family, and for some reason they live in this really dumpy house, and I think par- that probably because they spend all their money on their... Uh, oldest child who has i don't know like ms or something i only watched half of one episode and it wasn't the first one but he has a like laser pointer on his glasses and he points at a board of letters and words common words what and spells stuff out and that's how he communicates and he's got like this big black dude that follows him everywhere and reads off his board so we can communicate with people i guess there's some there was some plot point that i missed that Oh, isn't the it a reason. network show? I'm trying to It is to a think. network show. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, is it like Speechless or something like that? I think that's it. Yeah, I think it's called Speechless. Yeah. I mean, it was all right. It was, it was very typical sitcom y type of show, but modern sitcom, you know, no laugh track. And, uh, so not a three camera? Right. No, like a, or four camera or whatever. We all know what we're talking about. Right. What is that? I mean, like they do when they refer to single camera shows now, it's because they're able, to, they're doing all these, they're not shooting anything live. So they can just like take one camera out and just put the shot where they need it, right? Yeah. Whereas it, in a, a traditional sitcom that was done on, in front of a live audience, you would have to have all these cameras for coverage because they might move from one scene to the next. It's kind of funny. Like, what did fr- friends had the girls' apartment? The guy's apartment. It had Ross's place, right? Mm-hmm. Phoebe's place. Yeah. Had the coffee house, and then it had generic street. They'd have six sets. I wonder. I wonder how you do that. Had Jerry's apartment. Who? Well, you saw Jerry, and you saw uh, 
Elaine's apartment. Did you see Elaine's apartment? You definitely saw Kramer's because he lived right across the hall. Occasionally, you went inside Kramer's apartment. (laughs) So I bet you, though... You had the coffee shop. You had the street. You probably have, like, I bet you have close to six. Mm -hmm. But in one episode, you probably only ever have, like, four. Because they'd have to have it all set up for, like, that episode, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. The Cosby Show, they were in the kitchen... The living room. Yeah, that was kind of all one. Their bedroom. Big open set. His office. Yeah, his creepy downstairs gynecologist office. Yeah. <laughs> one of the kids' rooms occasionally. Yeah. In his backyard. So what is that? I mean, they it stares and everything. Like, I wonder if it looked like a, like a what's his name movie, a Wes Anderson movie. You know where he does like the he'll show like a, a house. With a the wall, one wall removed, so you can see everything like a cross section. Ah, That's what I'm looking for. Like on the Family Circus. So, so does the Cosby Show's house just look like a house with like one wall missing? It had to be all on the same floor though. But they went upstairs. Yeah, there's at least one scene in an episode in her bedroom or in their bedroom. Right. Everyone's bedroom was upstairs, right? Yes. And, Except the creepy gynecologist's office. Well, yeah. Why do you have a bar in here, Dr. Huxtable? <laughs> Downstairs, it's soundproofed. What's that say? Is that Spanish? It starts with Q-U-E. Right. There sure is a lot of, like, security cameras, and these are really thick walls and doors. Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is also my safe room. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the lock's on the outside. <laughs> and so they can't hear you <laughs> <Yeah>. scream. <laughs> what? I said I got plenty of ice cream. Yeah. Some jello pudding pops. Uh, heard he was in prison and he'd never had pudding before. He said he wasn't a fan. They, Cosby's not a fan of pudding. I mean, pudding. We saw you put that shit in your mouth. We know you've tasted it before, right? We know didn't he swallowed. He? Well, yeah, after but he the, tasted it. He would have known. Like, who knows? After the camera stopped rolling, he spit it out and went, this is awful. I'm a foodie. <laughs> well, he couldn't even... Or maybe he had like some sort of mouth condom thing. He would just like remove yeah. it and peel it off. I can't be seen eating the poor people food. But yeah, I mean, I, while well, I'm trying to think, I mean, I, I don't know definitively if I've ever seen him put the pudding in his mouth. I remember seeing oh. him with the spoon, right? No. We, now Google must answer this question. <laughs> He's definitely eating that sandwich. Whoa, it's going down on some roast beef there. You ask kids why their beds aren't made, and they say, I forgot. You ask them why they're walking. They don't even have any pudding. To the living room, they say, oh, I forgot. But these same kids will ask you, Dad, how come you didn't fix any Jell-O pudding tonight? You said you would two years ago, August 12th, at 7.31 p.m. You had red sweater on and some loafers brown. And you say, <laughs> I forgot. And they say, Dad, you're grounded. Jell-O pudding. Okay, so... Can't be a kid without didn't eat the pudding. Definitely, yeah, he's definitely not eating any there. Sure, in prison oh, eating pudding. Seen, oh, here we go. Okay. He's holding pudding. He's got pudding. He has it on a spoon. It's on the spoon. That little black kid is fucking tearing up that pudding. she forgot. Maybe I should remind her. Mom, you know how the kids love Jell-O pudding. And you know it's made with fresh milk, so it's wholesome. And you haven't made Jell-O pudding for them since <laughs> last night. Last what? Kids love Jell-O pudding. He did not eat the pudding. Not eat the he pudding. held the pudding. Well, I'm assuming little Nick Cannon was eating pudding right next to him. Just assuming. <laughs> Bill Cosby sells his soul for pudding. All right, who knows what this could be? This could, we could be getting Rick Rowe. There's an easy way to make Jell-O instant pudding. Shake it. Grab any container, snap the lid on tight, and follow the direction. Follow the direction. What's wrong with these watermelons wiggle? Oh no, oh no! Watermelons wiggle! Maybe I can do this. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's. Oh, he tasted the pop. He's licking the pudding pop. Which, and he could have faked it. That is, he could have faked something completely different. <laughs> this is a clever attempt at a remix. Do your kids talk like this? Worry. You love to hear me doing this or this or this or this or this. Okay, I'm tired of this video. Crossing too obnoxious. Oh wait, 
Bill Cosby talking to Theo while he eats a pudding pop. Yeah, but that's a pop. No, no, white girls, no. What? Wait a minute. Come on. <laughs> what is going on there? I think this is they people thinking they're funny, and they can't even turn their phone sideways. But you don't have the money. <laughs> is she supposed to be... What the fuck? Was she supposed to be doing a Cosby impression? I think so. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh. Van. Oh. Van who? I'm holding pudding Van again. Pudding is the name, and eating it all up is my game. <laughs> Wait, no, he's holding an empty he is. cup. Chuck who? Chuck he's like, you have to assume so he's eating the pudding. From my dish. <laughs> <laughs> and he's with little Tiffany Haddish. did not taste that. And now there's a new instant pudding flavor, milk chocolate. All right, well, four he's for four. Shots. He did not eat the pudding. So science says, by that exhaustive research, we looked at four commercials. He never ate the pudding. So we just assume he never ate the pudding. Yeah. That, I think it's that's pretty science. definitive proof right there. Yeah. Do you also hear he got slapped in the face with a chicken patty? With a chicken patty? Yes. What a... <sighs> Disgraceful. Who slapped him? An in, I'm guessing another inmate. Mate, might have been the chef or whoever serves the food. He's also been asking he asked for one chicken patty and they're like, Psh, there you go. Somebody slapped him with the chicken patty. Yes. From BET.com. TMZ this- says he was not smacked in the face with a chicken cutlet. Well, I want to believe BET. It was reported he told a, a joke that another inmate did not find amusing. Reports that Cosby cracked a joke and another inmate fu- that another inmate found distasteful and reacted by removing a chicken patty from the bun and throwing it at Cosby, smacking him in the face. Pennsylvania Department of Corrections said this did not happen, and I am unhappy with anyone who is reporting such fake news. You are fake news. <laughs> that, <What? laughs> that's, that's audio right there. <laughs> and then that was pretty, was pretty and imme- then here's immediately the refuted. And here's the warden. You are fake news. <laughs> yeah, a lot of places are reporting this as debunked. You think, have you seen the new season of Orange is the New Black yet? No. Oh, I was going to say, do you think he's in Florida? That was the nickname for the section of Max where all the old people were. Oh. So nobody was getting stabbed. You know, none, none of that shit was, you know, no prison type shit was going down. Did old people get good? Is Florida, it's just, is Florida just, a good thing or just, a bad thing? It's good. It's just chill. Everyone just plays yeah. cards all day and goes to bed early. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm saying because it's like it, it's how old do you have to be to get into it? You either got to be old or nonviolent. I guess because it's you get to pick the the person who runs that section gets to pick who goes in. So you're you're generally you're well behaved and you're not fucking with anybody. So we're a lot of the you're also old. A lot of the inmates clamoring to get into that section, yes. trying to claim. Doggett ended up getting into Florida. She made a deal with the warden because she escaped and came back. Yeah. And so her deal was so she wouldn't go to the press. She's like, let's make a deal. So she ended up getting in there. But no, yeah, I'm just wondering if, if Cosby's in a sec, in a, in something like that. If he's in with a bunch of dudes his age where he's not in right. danger of getting shanked or raped or. But the, what makes Florida work is the fact that you have a bunch of people in there who just don't, are too old to cause shit, right? So the more people you let, in there, the less that it actually works as Florida, right? <laughs> yeah. Eventually, somebody's going to get in there who doesn't deserve to be. I just wonder, cause I, is shit. Cosby, like, in, you know, sit next to dudes, like, just call me killer. You know, team gives guys, like, you know, team with guys that have, like, 13 teardrops on each eye. I don't know. I, I would guess not. Some guy that stabbed his own mother. But who, who knows? Seen with other, like I'm saying, 80 year old guys, guys well, who were guards at Auschwitz. If the only reported incident car, like, and it didn't even happen, but the only thing that was made up was that he got slapped in the face with a chicken patty, sounds like it's fairly tame. I would guess by that. I mean, I think if we saw some rougher dudes, in, that's why you can't put Cosby in a jail like that because some guy doing life who just wants to be known as the guy not to fuck with for the rest of the time that he's in jail can easily just, you know, 
put a put a shank in Cosby's side. Do you watch but Saturday Night Live? Are you do you keep up with them? I do not. Uh, not on the I'm regular. Saying, I see please tell me by while. now somebody has done like the most hilarious episode of Oz yet. With, you know, with reboot, Cosby, yeah, they reboot Oz and Cosby's part of it. Or no, they call it Cos C O Z. <laughs> no, I did see. I think you could uh, watch this one online too. There was a fake commercial for an Alexa for old people. Oh, the Keenan. new this Amazon be Echo good. has everyone asking Alexa for help. Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what the hell is wrong with this blasted thing? <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> but the latest technology isn't always easy to use for people of a certain age. These kids have bought me a busted machine again. On this. <laughs> That's why Amazon partnered with AARP to present the new Amazon Echo Silver, the only smart speaker device designed specifically to be used by the greatest generation. It's super loud and responds to any name oh even boy. remotely close to Anita, the Anita, Alberta, so find out Alicia. <laughs> Allegra. What is the weather outside? It is 74 degrees and sunny. Huh? It is 74 degrees and sunny. Where? Outside. What about it? The temperature outside is 74 degrees and sunny. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. How many did old Satchel strike out last night? Satchel Page died in 1982. How many did he get? Satchel Page is dead. He what now? Died. Who did? Satchel Page. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Pop culture. Anita, what them boys up to across the street? They are just playing. They what now? They are just playing. You say they just playing now? Yes, they are just playing. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Devices like your thermostat. Alessandra, turn the heat up. That's, uh, already that's mostly what I like it for. Is, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> The new it is the perfect Silver plays all the music dismissive old person phrase. Angela, play black jazz. Playing uh, jazz. <laughs> 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 it also has a quick scan feature to help them find things. Emilia, where did I put the phone? <sighs> the phone is in your right hand. And it has an uh-huh feature for long <laughs> rambling stories. So then I gave him five dollars. And he said, I only gave him $1. Uh-huh. I said, I know I gave you a five. Uh-huh. Because I only had a five and a one only. Uh-huh. And this is the $1 right here. Uh-huh. <laughs> he holds up a five. <laughs> get yours today. I said, get yours today. To order Amazon Echo Silver, send a check or money order to Amazon.com right now. Swears. Reach some uh, shower thoughts. All right. When you drop a Lego model, it's not technically technically broken. It's just been returned to factory settings. I say that rates like a four. I feel like we should have a song for shower thoughts. What are, uh, what, what's the the Jane's Addiction song? Uh, standing in the oh, shower thinking. Yes. That's like <laughs> that's actually <laughs> right on the nose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. The creator of Photoshop could have had a lot of fun if he did not tell anyone. Uh, that, that's true, I guess. But I mean, got this is imagining this is a world where, like, one person designed a piece of software. Yeah. <laughs> and then has this like very movie moment where he decides whether to unleash it upon the world or not. Mm-hmm. Like, the, meanwhile, the, someone else comes out with it, and makes a shit ton of money, and he just says, "Fuck." His uh, his wife is telling him, "Think about all the good it could do." And he's like, "Yes, but it could be used for evil too, to make lies." Hey, forget Photoshop. Like, hey, good news in twenty eighteen, it won't matter. Well, also, I mean, the ability to fake video is getting pretty close. It's still in the uncanny valley where. I mean, if you just watched it like on a thumbnail pop up on a, on a website or something, you might actually be fooled by it. Mm-hmm. But on closer inspection, you'll notice like there's just things. I don't even know, just micro expressions that there aren't are that aren't there or that are over exaggerated that just look weird or look so, you know something's off. So I mean, yeah, you the naked eye, can, but. 
only a matter of time, right? The technology is yeah. just getting better. Look at Jurassic Park versus Jurassic World. Mm. <laughs> and how much more realistic those well, dinosaurs look. That story this I one. sent you guys in there in regimented chat, Stephen Hawking's greatest fear is that this was, we're going to uh, manipulate genetics for bad. We're going to we're going to uh, we're going to what do you say we're going to make more aggressive and m- we're going to enhance aggressiveness and intelligence. And yeah, uh, make ourselves into like a super being. I guess. I mean, I wonder what his thought behind the idea that we would try and make ourselves more aggressive. I mean, I, I guess it, it's like an opinion of human behavior. I mean, and it's, I'm not seven it's billion not of us all over the planet. How much more aggressive do we need to be? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I can see, like, specifically for some kind of government program where you want to create some super soldier, right? You might mm. heighten the aggressive. Oh. But to just have the average person be hyper aggressive and like what kind movie of was that? super Universe? predator that was a movie in the 90s and John claude Van Damme was in it yeah I think you're right was it like Universal Soldier I think it was well I mean these are all kind of takes on the, the Captain America thing he was uh, yeah. it was a super soldier serum that he took did you hear he might have spoiled <laughs> the next oh Avengers he did not on Twitter recently those guys please you know, like it, first of all that Chris Evans is gonna do it he's been in like Practically more than almost as many as Iron Man as. Uh, well, it's it's because he he supposedly allegedly said goodbye to his character or whatever, and her had hinted at it. Yeah, that he's about to be replaced or die or some shit. I mean, he is. Pri- I'm. He, maybe he'll die. That's a possibility. Or maybe he just doesn't get to be Captain America anymore. I was just saying, 2018, being named Captain America, it's awfully white. Well, somebody's still going to... I mean, there's always going to be a Captain America. Somebody's going to take over that job. And in the comics, it was Nomad. He stopped being Captain America when he couldn't work with the government anymore. And and I think... I don't think... I I don't remember if it was him saying that he quit or if they actually just told him he couldn't be Cap anymore. But he was Nomad for a while. He had the black suit with the American flag on the chest. A full lot of honkies in here. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> audio from Marvel's recent meetings. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, shower thoughts. Took you on like two detours. No, I doubt, I doubt Chris Evans actually spoiled anything. I think all of these quote-unquote spoilers are intentional either to mislead or just to get people keep people talking about it. Studying physics is essentially being taught a simple structure and then told actually scratch that the truth is actually far more complicated over and over again until uh, we reach a point we're, we're where lost. we still already don't out. know the truth the average person is out already. only that we do not have it that was a really long-winded way of saying we will never abs- know everything yeah right which is what scientists do say mm-hmm. many of them have said it much more concisely we will never know everything the average person was already in tldr okay. mode they say never judge a book by its cover. Hey, I was talking about this the other day. But book covers are literally designed for you to make judgments about books. It's true. Especially if Fabio is involved. I thought there was another one about books in here. You were known at some point in that book, that dude's going to hammer that chick on the cover. He's going to sweep her off her feet, please. Did guys if- like him lose a career with the, the, the rise of the internet? Or did they just have to go into porn? I don't think that the romance what novel has, has gone down in popularity. To the romance model novel. Is that still... I oh, yeah. I, I think it's novel, very much... Is that still a career? I think that's still the preferred method of porn for most women. If Spice Girls were still around today, there'd totally be a pumpkin spice. No, there wouldn't. And uh, it's disqualified for being a pumpkin spice joke. Mm. You never realize how many shortcuts your computer has until your cat sits on your keyboard. That's my favorite so far. Browsing after, browsing your phone after sex is this generation's cigarette after sex. Totally agree. Imagine the shit that's on our phones. Stairs are tiny floors that get you to a different floor. No, they are not. Maybe to an ant, though, I guess. Why are you looking up beefcake porn? I typed in romance novel models 2018. I'm, I'm telling you. I mean, take a look at uh, book sections of your local store. I was going to say bookstores, but I didn't know where to find one. So next time you're in a mire, look at the books. There's still a large section. 
I mean, especially now with uh, Fifty Shades oh, yeah, of was, Grey. But it wasn't like a dude on the cover of that book, was there? I mean, now the stuff's like getting more racy. But there's still definitely that genre of cover out there. The most unsettling thing in the world would be knowing the day and month of your death, but not the year. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah. That w- I mean, Every you September have more, like, 20th, you're like, is this it? What would you do? Like, just not leave the house? I know, right? Or would you just, the day, or just the day before every year, it's just Same. the day you'd like, you just, you score right. some heroin, you steal a car. Oh, you just don't give a fuck. You lean into it. Yeah. And then if you like wake you up figured, the next day, like, oh, well, cool, well, we'll do this all again next year. I guess if, like, I think that even if you were told, like, this, on this day, we don't know what year, but on this day, you're going to die, and there's no way out of it. Like, no matter what you do, you are, go, even if you, if it's just, your heart just stops, you know? Mm-hmm. You're going to die. But still, I think anyone would still try and find a way out of it, right? You wouldn't mm-hmm. want to tempt fate on that day. I wouldn't even want to get behind the wheel of a, of a car. Wouldn't even want to leave the house. No, fuck that. It's every day the day before. Would, I'm just living the, the day before. Yeah, the day before. Well, if you I'm know. living the most awesome day ever. Right. So if you, I wake up the next day, like, well, we'll see you next year. That is another good point. You have 364 days of knowing that you can't die that day. If you truly believe you're going to die on that one day of that year, mm-hmm. it means you can do whatever the fuck else. I mean, short of probably shooting yourself in the head, but. You know, yeah, that's the, that is the day you go skydiving. Mm-hmm. Driving by an apartment or house you used to live in is like bumping into an ex in a new relationship. Nope. No. You know it immediately, but is now... You know it immediately, but is now off limits to... I don't know. It was really poorly constructed also. Getting drunk yeah, is get going double or nothing on your happiness. No. Going to school doesn't give you knowledge you need for life. It prepares you for a consistent work schedule. <laughs> yeah. yeah, true. Yeah, absolutely. Get you ready for this, the, the eight-hour structure. Right. Teachers get paid surprisingly, li- surprisingly little, considering the future of the country relies on how seriously they take their jobs. That is fact. That is, uh, I agree. Everyone assumes you're busy when they see you watching a movie, but doesn't hesitate to interrupt you when you're reading a book. I don't know. I don't really see people reading books. So, <laughs> Your debit card pays for things with past hours of your life, and your credit card pays with future hours of your life. Well, what if you have one like me that just works as both? I'm well, technically a debit card the whole time. Then. It's Because uh, it doesn't. I don't get a credit card bill. It just always comes out of my bank account. Right. So it is always a debit card. It exists in a time is a different construct for that card, right? And well, no, we it's, experience it's time function is always a debit card. All right, fine. <laughs> I can't toggle back and forth like, hey, let's put this one on a credit card bill. Like it's just always coming out of my bank. Unless you go over and then it starts being a credit card, right? If you drained your account, it would then become a credit card. Yes, it would automatically switch over. Mm-hmm. The smell of someone vaping in public is a disturbing reminder of how often we breathe the same air someone just exhaled. What are you talking about vaping in public? I don't know. Who who does that? Nobody really does that. I mean, it's not like we're going to, you know, dance bars or something. (laughs) Dance bars. Discos? I mean, I do it when I'm walking (laughs) in and out of the building for work every day, but also, too, when I know there's people coming or people behind me, I blow it up. Right. Like... Nobody so not walking through my cloud. I do not see people vaping in restaurants, not no, even Denny's. I, I don't know if I told you about this, but I was... You see public vaping? I, I went down to, to smoke or vape or whatever we call it now. Uh, at work, uh, uh, I don't know if it was this year or last year, and the smoker was standing next to me and said, hey, can you stand over there? I don't want to be next to you. And I'm sitting there thinking like... And she's smoking like a real <laughs> cigarette. I'm sitting there thinking like... Wow. Irony ain't lost on you, bitch. So. <laughs> I'm sorry my sweet vapor smell that is just fucking up your cigarette. It sounds like somebody who has had that said to them a lot and was now looking for an opportunity to say that to somebody. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, I'm sorry the wind's blowing that way this today, bitch. I don't know if vaping is that reminder that 
uh, that we breathe the same air. I think farts work as a better example. <laughs> of course, that's not the air we exhale. Well, kind of. People really take it for granted that the toilets still flush during a power outage. Huh? Well, they do. They're not electric. Right. What do you mean take it for granted? They're Toilets are powered by literally a chain and yeah, and a green gravity. That's like saying, as long as you got water flowing into your house, you're good. It's like the power goes out and you're like, open the door, go outside, breathe a little bit. Okay, good. The air's still running. Does this person have a fucking electric (laughs) toilet? I thought we were all going to have to find an alternate source of oxygen during the power outage. (laughs) Power is out. You got to eat all this Can't stuff shit. in the fridge before it goes out. Good thing our mouths still work with the power being out. You know, people take that for granted. Yeah. That their mouths still work when the power goes out. <laughs> I think that's the worst one. Let's all take a moment and appreciate that our internal organs don't itch. You know what? I bet you there's someone out there whose internal organs do itch. Yeah. And they're mad right now. And finally, as teenagers, getting picked up was embarrassing because everyone started driving. Huh? As adults, getting picked up is great because you don't it's have to ride drive. Share, yeah. yeah, I'll give it to that one. Yeah, you didn't want to see anyone picking you up like, oh, you know, it meant you were a loser. You didn't have your license yet. Now right. it's Uber or Lyft coming to get you. Well, it's also not that way for current teenagers. Yeah. There's no shame in anyone picking you up. Your parents, Uber, yeah. your friends, strangers. Living with your parents till you're 40. No shame. No shame. Yeah, I should have just stopped right there. The teenagers of the state, there's no shame. Yeah. <laughs> Full stop. If you like this show, please tell a friend. Please follow us on Twitter and like and share us on Facebook by searching for Christopher Media. You can subscribe to all ChristopherMedia.net shows for free on ChristopherMedia.net. Please make sure to rate and comment on all your favorite Christopher Media shows. Thank you in advance for supporting Christopher Media by clicking on the PayPal button and by clicking through to all the sponsors who support ChristopherMedia.net. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. And thank you for listening. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. If you look around, you'll see the world can be pretty smart. Okay, very smart. At Capella University, we think education should be smart, too. That's why we're reshaping online learning with our FlexPath format. You can set your own deadlines, take classes at your own pace, even leverage your previous experience to move faster. So when it comes to earning your bachelor's degree, you know what kind of choice to make. A smart one. Visit capella.edu to learn more. Capella University. Don't just learn, learn smarter. Before you drive the all-new Nissan Rogue, you gotta ask yourself, how rogue are you gonna go? We talking be one with nature in the desert rogue? Go snowshoeing in Alaska rogue? Or take the long way home just because kind of rogue? Just a question, but with five available drive modes, you're sure to find the answer. Go rogue in the all-new, fiercely reimagined 2021 Nissan Rogue, now with the most standard safety features in its class. See owner's manual for important safety information. Auto Pacific segmentation. 2021 Nissan Rogue versus latest in market competitors. Base models compared.